Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here with a video looking at the best maps in Battlefield 1. If you enjoy this video, please build a pelican breeding reserve so that the population of the big beaked majestic water birds can grow, and this will really help spread the good word of my channel. So a legend by the name of Beardy Rory ran a Twitter competition to determine the best Battlefield 1 map. He called this the Battlefield 1 Champions League. The competition had it all. Group stages, finals, hopefully some steroids, but basically thousands of players voted for their favourite map. A massive thanks to Rory for his efforts organising all of that, and without further delay, here are the best four maps in Battlefield 1, with the overall winner being announced at the end of the video. So first off we have Razor's Edge, one of the two aerial only maps that came as part of the Apocalypse DLC. Just kidding, I am fucking with you. So first off is Amiens, a French metropolitan which sees players scramble from door to door like a pizza delivery driver who smoked one too many pre-shift blunts. This map has such an authentic vibe about it and the gameplay never seems to disappoint, offering players the chance to use any class effectively. The Battle of Amiens was the beginning of the Allied offensive, which eventually ended World War I. This battle later became known as the Hundred Days Offensive. After Battlefield one, it has now become known as the 100 service star immense bitch, as it is common to see gamers raging at hell regal players with 100 service stars. This map would have taken the developers a long time, and it has always impressed me how balanced this urban environment feels to play on. Something I am less impressed with is the noob who jumps straight into the driver's seat of the behemoth train, but then proceeds to capture precisely zero objectives. I think I speak for the whole Battlefield 1 community when I say, I hope your fridge loses power and all of your food goes rancid. You misogynistic, feminism perplexing, bigot, big business supporting fuck. Sorry, I am just trying to make my insults more appropriate for 2018, the year where I pretend to be woke. Saint Quentin Scar is another absolute banger of a map. This is the kind of map you'd want to spend Friday night with go out for brunch with on Saturday morning, and then spend the following week wondering if you should text first before eventually panicking and sending a dick picture resulting in the two of you never speaking again. <clears throat> anyway, St. Quentin's Scar is epic, from the town right in the middle to the frontline trenches surrounding the northeastern side, and the eradicated church at the B objective. But possibly the coolest thing about this map is how it changes as the game goes on. Like an aging Hollywood actress tries desperately to hold on to her youthful beauty, the serene village of Traversy tries to hold on too, but is eventually bombed and dismantled, leaving a former shell of what it once was. Ballroom Blitz features a ballroom that gets blitzed. Blitz by definition means a sudden or intensive military attack. Ballroom by definition means a large room designed for ballroom dancing, and pelican by definition means a large bird with a long billed beak designed for slaying pussy. Ballroom Blitz is again an extremely thick map, and honestly, it is always nicer to kill other gamers in beautiful environments. On top of that, the map plays really well, with the huge French chateau acting as a pivotal objective, but there is also plenty of alfresco World War I action to be had here. I really loved playing this map on operations, but unfortunately, as I live in Australia, which has a total population of like 17 people, I can no longer find any operations lobbies. Fort DeVoe was rated in the top 4 maps, and honestly this surprised me. Not that Fort DeVoe is a bad map by any means, but it can get pretty explosive heavy, which has been known to make some players cry. This concrete jungle is unique compared to every other map, and running through the stark echoing corridors and damp, narrow places definitely gives off that sex dungeon feel, which I'm pretty sure is exactly what the developers were going for. Really though, there is a ton of fun to be had on Fort DeVoe, and given the extensive passageways and flanking options, there is almost always a way to avoid being choked. So overall, the winner of these four maps was... Amian. Amian. <laughs> Boom. The French city wins it. I have to say, I would also personally pick Amian as the best map, but I am really interested to hear your thoughts in the comments below, or just feel free to make fun of my pronunciation. Anyway, that's it from me. It's just started raining, so 
I don't know if you can hear that, it's really fucking loud. But you guys are all legends, and thank you to my patrons for their unbelievable support of the channel. Remember to keep hydrated, until next time, and as always, stay classy.